In this series, My Follower Friend, we will explain one of the best books that dealt with the subject of interaction between the sexes between males and females, God willing. This book will have a very strong impact on the way you deal with the opposite sex, regardless of who this opposite sex is, whether it is your father, your brother, your life partner, or your son. Likewise, it can have a very big impact on the way you deal with your mother, your sister, your life partner, and your daughter. A book that will be very useful to you. Follower, the first part of the explanation of the book males are from Mars, females are from Venus by author John Gray in this video. Okay, my friend, a follower of the writer John Gray, in this book, my love, we get an idea or a message, but it is wrapped in a somewhat imaginative story template, but it is very terrible. He told you that once upon a time, in the past, there were creatures called males living on the planet Mars, and on the other hand, there were other creatures called females living on the planet Venus. He told you that one day these males traveled with females on the planet Venus, and when they met each other, all of them, males and females, liked each other. They loved each other, each of the sexes, as much as the other creatures that were coming. The males liked the women, they liked the gentleness of this being, measure this object? How? This being has feelings and emotions, and adds many colors, a taste for life, and many qualities about these creatures, such as endurance, responsibility, and intelligence, whether emotional or intellectual intelligence, and so on. On the other hand, we also admired the females for these males. The females loved the males, the qualities. The noble beings who exist are very strong, very caring, courageous and observant of females. How? These males always try to protect them and take care of themselves, and guardianship here does not mean control and judgment, but rather it means caring, care and protection, and they also notice that despite the strong difference in terms of physical structure and strength between males and females, these males did not use that strength to oppress females, or in harassment, violence, or beating in general. Rather, quite the opposite, they noticed that this strength had very positive effect on the pot. These beings admired each other, my observant friend, and certainly noticed that there was a very big difference between them, only in terms of physical structure. No. No, many things, even in dealing with each other, even in the way of thinking and the way of dealing, and notice that each of these beings has a very philosophical approach to dealing with life. The important thing is what's up with you, my friend who is also a follower. One day, both males and females decided to move and live on planet Earth, and even though they lived on planet Earth, they always did not remember the difference between them. The theme that they are different from each other was present and present in their minds always and forever. Life was so rosy and beautiful and what happened? After a period of time, both males and females forgot the vast, great, and great differences that existed between them, and from here the problems and disagreements began, and when the male came to deal with the female, he treated her as if she were another male, and the female likewise, when she came to deal with the male, treated him as if he were a female. Another, the difference is vast and very large between the sexes, friend of the observer, and this is the purpose of the book, so Joe Nagery told you in the introduction to this book. We must, my observant friend, remember our differences, and remember that we are two different genders, with a different philosophy in life, way of dealing, way of thinking, matters and behaviors, and many things that are different between the genders. We must remember our differences so that when one of us comes to deal with the opposite sex, he knows that it is a different sex from him, and he knows that the way he interacts, thinks and deals with it is completely different. He told you in this book I mentioned to you several points that are very different in which we are between males and females, and these are what I mentioned. We explain it in detail, and you must remember it and focus on it. Because, God willing, you will improve your dealings with the opposite sex, and when we remember our differences, we will understand that when a female comes to care about me in a certain way, or I ask for my attention from a female, this does not mean that she will care about me in the way that I imagine in my imagination and mind. When my mother comes she cares about me, she cares about me in the way that she considers caring, not in the way that I want, and similarly, when my father comes to care about me, he will care about me in the way he sees it, 
care from his point of view. This is not the way in your imagination and mind to apply these words, my friend. Follow up with your life partner. This is very important. When your husband comes to deal with you, he will deal with you in the way he sees it from his point of view, care, love, support, help, etc. And when I said your husband, I meant male and female, because the word husband, my friend who follows it, is feminine. I don't know what's wrong with me. I changed the explanation to Arabic. The most important thing is that you benefit, my friend who follows it. In conclusion, we will remember our differences, and we will begin to embrace these differences. There is a difference in almost every video, or a difference that negates every video, according to the book's narration.my observant friend, and the details contained in it, and my observant friend, we are almost familiar with the introduction to this book. Now we will begin to delve into the deep and deep, and we will begin to discuss the first difference between male and female that was mentioned in the first chapter of this book. If your cup of coffee is finished, I hope that you will go and make yourself a second one, or so as not to harm yourself, bring you a cup of water. The first difference, my friend. The follow-up is that there were male beings when they lived on Mars, and this is strange information, IT may shock you a little. This is directed at females. Of course, they have always cared about strength, efficiency, speed, challenges, achievements, etc. The truth of this information is true. I mean, even though it is inherent in me as a male, when I talk about it with John Gray in the book, it frankly caught my attention. He told you, for example, that if you sit in a meeting where only males are present, you will notice that most of their conversation revolves around power, efficiency, speed, achievements, etc. They started talking about the most durable types of cars or almost the most powerful types of devices in the world of technology, or they can talk about the speed of the internet or the speed of such and such a device, or they can talk about the very powerful technologies that were launched, for example, such as 5G, nanopower, and so on. I mean, they always talk about anything related to power, efficiency, speed, etc., but the exact opposite is when you sit in an all-female gathering and you will have a conversation about these topics. Most of the time we will come to this topic, and then when we come we will talk about the females, but let us focus on the males now. He said to you, this is the first characteristic of the males. Glory be to God. I mean, on his nature, not on their structure. Physical, strength, power, efficiency, etc. Therefore, because males are always interested in the subject of achievements, you always find them eager to solve problems, and he told you that when males were living on the planet Mars, they were interested in the subject of strength, competence, achievements, and so on. IT was very rare to find a male complaining or complaining in all of Mars. They either solve their problems and achieve, etc., and they never complain. He told you because the male always cares about appearing strong or resilient. It is impossible for him to complain, because if he complains and speaks out, this will indicate some weakness in him, and this may shake his personality. Dear female, please focus on this very important point. The male said to you, this will never be the case. It is okay if the male faces a very difficult problem, and his experience in life is so little that he is unable to solve this problem, meaning once. Once. He tried once, but he was never able to. He resorted to it because he was exposing this problem to another male. He is older than him, whether in age or in life experience, and this problem is presented to him, and he waits for someone to solve it. Therefore, as soon as a male comes to talk to a second male about a problem, which is faced by the second male who receives this complaint, he immediately understands that this male needs a solution. As soon as this man complains about his problem, he will immediately offer him a solution or try to solve this problem with him. This talk, my female friend, is dangerous, very dangerous. This justifies and explains the words we will convey to him later when we come to talk and the male's treatment of the female. I mean, as soon as you hear these characteristics, I remember saying, what's the problem? Life is beautiful and normal. I mean, I don't see that it is particularly bad. 
I agree with you 100%. These are qualities that are not bad at all, but their problem is that they are characteristics that may conflict with the female gender. We will discuss this in detail after a while as it is very, very important before I move on from this point. I want you to imagine the scene. Males exist on the planet Mars. No one talks to the other. Imagine with me that you remember that they met each other. Someone tried to present a problem he was facing to another male. I remember the second one immediately understood that this one who was complaining needed an oath as soon as he said it, I swear. And I encountered such and such today, and I could not solve the problem. This guy has been trying to offer solutions to him all along. This is nature. It exists on the planet Mars and males. I don't know. It healed me. I am honest. I imagined that the Martians were honest with us. By God 34 about the Martians, he was right with all regret. As for females, my follower friend, they are cute, cute creatures. When they lived on the planet Venus, they had characteristics. Very different from the characteristics of males. They cared about emotions, feelings, bonds, and relationships. I mean, when females were living on the planet Zora, the female cared more about her relationship with the other female than she cared about achievements, strength, competence, etc. This does not mean that the female does not care about achievements, competence, and strength, no. No, no, interest exists, and the male also has emotions, feelings, and relationships, but first or most important, emotions, feelings, and relationships come first, first, and then come achievements, strength, competencies, and so on. I mean, when a female often sits with her, she says, By God, I accomplished such and such a thing, and I did such and such a thing, and I got such and such a thing, and I solved such and such thing. Never, you always find her talking about her emotions, about her feelings, and how they relate. For her, relationships and humanity are more important than the fact that they solve a problem and do not achieve anything, and so on, the things that are present in the male, this first story and the second characteristic, the female always finds eager to improve, oh this point I must stop and start, I digress a little. I always say, my observant friend, that the presence of beings like our females present on the planet Earth means that it is one of the greatest blessings that God Almighty has bestowed upon us. The presence of the female in the universe has given life a flavor and given it colors, man. One of the examples I always give is that our situation in the house, for example, I live in the house and there are my sister, my mother, my aunt, etc. After every period and period, meaning from time to time, I notice a beautiful change in the house, I notice an excellent improvement in the house, that is, for example, duration, duration. He entered the kitchen, through a different kitchen arrangement, and threw tools in the kitchen. It increases when I go into the majlis or the place where we always sit as a family. I mean, he made improvements to the place. Some of the tools that make life easier for us are remote control. Things to arrange the charger cords. Lampshades. Decoration. Trees flowers. And so on I mean. This means that improvements are always present and ongoing, so I started saying the exact opposite. If, for example, my brother and I were living in the house alone, I would never expect that we would improve anything in the house, never, meaning the decor will remain the same as it was from the first time he lived in the house until we hand the house over to its caretaker a second time. There is no room for improvement at all, and this is actually what I notice in the nature of males. The male, if there is a problem with something that is ruined in the house or here you have occupied it, it will come to be fixed. And it adjusts, restores, and improves. As for developing, improving, and beautifying, these are the qualities that exist, not specifically the male, and this is a strange thing that I want you to focus on and think about deeply. Notice the Eid, for example, we are in the days of Eid, and you noticed in the days that have passed, how are male clinics and people's clinics? What does it mean? Honestly, my family brings such and such eat gifts, and I don't know what, and the offerings and packaging come with all the details. And the Zabraka and I don't know what. 
O oh, things. Things that come to mind. Honestly, we are males. What is this holiday for us guys? Just money, my friend. Follower, no tuning, improvement, packaging, or anything. O oh, cover, O oh, cover. Even when we come to give a gift. My brother, what? What with its what? We don't talk about the subject of adornment, shape, and beauty. There is no beauty, there is no beauty, and God is right. I don't know why you remember. Your brain is never associated with beauty, unlike a female when she comes to give you a gift, for example. The goal is for her to be the gift, meaning the ribbon. I'm Coltham's old records, this one, no, why should I give it to you like this? No, it's impossible. Put it in a mold for yourself, a world in decorations, and I don't know what, and a candle with it. Means. I mean, God Almighty exists. The female is a blessing, a blessing. This is one of the very important female characteristics, improvement and beautification, and why. I focused on it a lot because I will show you what its effects are when the issue comes up with the male. After a while, when we see how the female deals with the male, the third and also very important point is that the female always feels that she is responsible for this person who has the characteristics she saw. Why did the mother know? Glory be to God, the mother is always kinder, closer, and kinder because she cares about relationships and because she always feels responsible for this person in front of him. The female is a mother by nature, whether she is your sister, your life partner, your aunt, or whoever, she always deals with you unless you find the qualities of a mother in her, and these qualities are very good, excellent, excellent. No one disagrees on this matter. This means that I am sure that when there is a male sitting here listening to my words now, he says, by God, I mean, I see you in the hall of a very beautiful female. Okay, where is the problem? Oh, Jake, Jake, in the problem. The problem is when a male and a female meet, a male thinking about power, solutions, problems, and competencies with a female in the concept of relationships, feelings, improvement, beautification, and responsibility. Let us take the male first, as we said. The male loves power and always loves to feel that he is based on matters related to the male. He always loves to live the feeling of a man. The male always loves to be a man who is based on the matters of himself. This is the meaning of a man. By the way, he is strong, capable, strong, and so on. Give me this creature and put a female with him, and the female is naturally eager for improvement. Is it true or not? And very accurate, she sees the characteristics of a female, and I expect that you know this thing, and even many males know this thing, this female is very precise, and I remember one time my uncle was talking to me about female precision, and I have never forgotten his words to this day. I mean, I expect this to be more than 12 years old. Almost, he used to say to me, for example, that he looks like a female to me. He says, when you walk in on a woman and you are wearing black glasses and she goes out, let's say how many walks, then she comes back and changes the exact same glasses, but her outfit is dark blue, that means almost a difference. It is hardly noticeable. Believe me, he says, when you walk in on a woman wearing alcoholic glasses, she will notice that you have changed the glasses. I said, is it reasonable? Do they live like this? Because it is impossible for me to notice this thing. If my glasses show a change in their size, here's design, I wouldn't notice this thing. He said, no, believe me, I think the female can reach this accuracy, and maybe more. So we return to our example, a strong male with a female who is eager to improve. You will notice that this male is random in many of his actions, and this is true, so you start giving him advice. Don't do this, do this, this will be better, this will be better. You are the one who made you think that if you did this, he would look like this, who? Told you? No? You see, if you do this, she will feel that she is interested, responsible for him, very keen on him, keen. So when she does this, she sees care and love as opposed to feelings and help, and she also wants him to appear in the brightest, 
best and most beautiful form. This means that even if he wears a certain piece of clothing, for example, he loves it very much or sees himself in the most beautiful way in it, the female may come and say, no, you see, this is not nice on you. If you wore this thing, this guy would be prettier on you. She wants him to look in the best shape. On the other hand, he feels that he is weak, he feels that he is not enough, and he feels that his manhood has diminished somewhat. Remember, manhood is what shook him. I don't know that. He feels weak. He feels inferior. He feels mean. Ha ha ha. What do you mean, friend? How can you tolerate it? I mean, this is male nature. It is the nature of the male. Martian, there is no one who can blame him and say to him, Why are you, my dear? Do you remember when I tried to feel that your appearance or your behavior and the way you treated me were better, I felt insulted? No one can ask the question, ever. No one can blame the male because this is something inherent in him, his nature, man. Or, female, on the contrary, what is very important is that we understand that these actions negatively affect this male. What is important is that we understand that this is not the best way to deal with the male, at least in these situations and moments. Excellent, my female friend. I expect the message has been received. Okay, in return, you, my dear, remember, come here. I want you, you also understand that this is a female's nature. I mean, when she tells you not to wear this, wear that, or for example, why are you wandering at home? Why don't you do like so-and-so? Why don't you do something like Alan? These are the things that make you feel like demons in your head. Why? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I'm better than that. It's nice. I mean, you're supposed to understand that the purpose of this behavior that your life company is doing to you is that you want to look better, to look better. So when you understand that this is its nature, you don't feel insulted because there is no insult in the matter. Okay, the insult is present in your mind, but it is possible that when a second male comes to you and tells you to do this and do that, you become upset with him. I accept it. Is that reasonable? Because we are males, we are not supposed to say such and such. Some people know this, but when you come as a female, whether your mother, your sister, your life partner, etc., or your daughter, she tried to improve you, develop you, care about you more, do not feel insulted, see what is a deficiency or weakness in you. On the contrary, she tries to improve you as much as possible. Even if she did not say such and such to you, that is, if you entered upon your wife or your husband often, because the word husband is dead and lonely, it is okay to mean that we are a term for us and we are accustomed to it. If you entered upon your husband often or your life partner often, and you noticed that she no longer, she has become interested in your clothing, appearance, etc. This is supposed to be a bad sign. The relationship must be understood that it is always supposed to improve from your situation, improve your actions, behaviors, etc. You must understand this thing is important, so when you enter her and she starts giving you some comments, just as an incentive like this, it is not better that you do this, it is better that you do that, you are supposed to feel happy, because this is evidence. However, this being, which is the female or the company of your life, is still interested in you, still loves you, and is keen on. She looks the best and is very, very interested in you. This is one way to care what we, as males, do not understand. I mean, this is the first point. Well, the second point of disagreement, which is concerned with the female issue, and the talk is directed at you, my male friend. The female, as we said, is always concerned with feelings, emotions, and relationships, so when the female comes and talks to you about the problems she faced, whether today and at work, at home, with her family, or whatever the problems are, these are her friends and so on, she starts talking to you about the problems she is currently facing or some of the difficulties and obstacles she may face in the future or is facing now, why does a female talk to you? She does not ask for solutions. When the female comes, she talks to you about her situation. She does not want a solution from you. Why am I still saying that? 
because males, as we agreed, are accustomed to the fact that if anyone complains to him, he gives him a solution, and this is something that I have noticed in myself a lot when I come to talk to my sister or my mother or whoever. My sister always comes to me and says to me, by God, this and that happened at the university, and the doctor did this. The agent did this and that, and my problem, for example, is regarding the topic of the material that was not published, etc. She talks to me about the university, and I notice that I am not listening. This is the first observation I notice. I have a habit of listening to her every once in a while, interrupting her and giving her solutions, as if she was really coming to ask me for a solution, and this is not true. My sister wanted me to be a person who only listens. She wanted to complain about her suffering and wanted someone who would help her morally, comfort her, take care of her, care about her emotionally, not care. In it, he gives her solutions. So this is important, my dear male, and I expect you will see many males agreeing with me in many males. In fact, they repeat the word, this is the harem women. Many people tell them about decisions, etc. Males always complain about this thing. You must relax your ears and listen. Zane, when a female comes to talk to you, she must have a container of emotion that contains those feelings. My male friend, this is the emotional nature of the female. The messenger of God said about them, he is bottles and was kind to the bottles. We did not break the bottles, for it is also important that they acknowledge Kay's difference. It is also very important that you admit it. Her difference from you, and you respect this difference no matter the cost. What he wants from you, my friend, is to watch when she comes as a female to talk to you. Just be a listener. Do not interrupt or give solutions. You must feel her suffering as she feels it. So when do you give her solutions? If she asked you for a solution, if she told you what is the solution, so and so. Ada? The solution, otherwise? Be a good listener. By God Almighty, listening is one of the most difficult, most difficult, most difficult tools of attention, and not only with females, but also with males. Unfortunately, we interrupt each other and do not listen to each other. The problem is a serious problem. On the other hand, my dear female, you must understand. I remember this is his nature. I remember when he interrupts and gives solutions. He expresses his interest. He is very concerned for you. He thinks that you are in trouble or a disaster and he tries to get you out of it. This is his way of expressing interest. When you come to complain to a male and you notice that this has definitely happened to you a lot, he does not listen to Zane and always tries to interrupt and try to come up with a solution. This is a way of caring for the male. It is then that you see the peak of interest, meaning remembering when one day you come to like him or prefer him, or you talk about a suffering or a problem that happened, and so on, if he never responds to you, never, that is. This means that he is not the one who is listening and feels feelings for you, nor is he the one who is sitting interrupting you, giving you solutions. This means that he is like an idol, so this is a dangerous indicator. This is an indicator that indicates that he remembered he is no longer interested at all. Quite the contrary, when you start talking and he interrupts and gives solutions. He interrupts and gives solutions. May God guide him to Spider-Man. My understanding, this is his way of expressing kind interest. We conclude with this story that John Gray talked about in this book, and he tried through this story to explain the difference between male and female when they meet each other. He told you briefly that one day there was a person named John Amir came to John and Mary. They were going out on the weekend. They were going to a restaurant to have dinner, and this is a beautiful date. I mean, you see a good term for married people. I mean, you see married people in foreign cultures going to date. They say, John says, come on, Mary, my husband, Mary. We walked into date, contrary to our term, with all regret. The important thing is that we were going to the restaurant. Unfortunately, it means we lost the restaurant. Maybe it was back at that time, meaning it was not on Google Maps. The important thing is that we lost the restaurant and it kept going around and around, and it could have been. It's half an hour. He doesn't know how to get to the airport. 
Mary noticed this thing about John, so she wanted to help him, so she gave him directions like turn right, turn left, no, this is a mistake because Turks have been running around here since today, meaning there's nothing wrong. Oh, you've come to this area more than once. If you're lost, why don't you call someone? You ask him where the restaurant or stop is. Ask this person, he might help you. These directions, I T left a negative impact on June Joe. We hear her saying that he might have actually called someone, and in the end they reached the restaurant, but he left the mood as long as they were sitting in this restaurant. John was silent, Sarhan had no clue, and the reason was that John felt weak. I mean, unfortunately, her goal was to help him, she was very interested in him, but he understood her that he was lacking. In me and weakness in me, it means and so on. Of course, you can relate this example to many things that happen in life. I mean, my female friends, I will give you a simple piece of information about the male. When my life partner, my sister, my mother, or any female comes to me and asks me for a sum of money, for example, so that I can provide her with such and such a job, and at that time I am financially unable, this leaves a very bad feeling among us males that is almost indescribable. I mean, if I sit for five minutes trying to get this to you, the feeling, I will not be able to convey it, is a very bad feeling indeed that makes us feel completely helpless and weak, so what about if the female comes? She asked me for this thing, and I told her I couldn't. She asked me why don't you go? Are you seeking help from so? And so, and not asking for help from so and so? Oh, that's it. The disaster happened here. These small details have a huge impact on a relationship in a way that you can imagine. We must pay attention to these details. We must be male or female. Try as much as possible to understand who this gender is different, and always ask yourself whether if you say this or do that, it will have a positive or negative effect on him. I mean, the female can come with a kind heart and good intentions, trying to help. In the end, it has a negative impact. The same story goes, the male comes with good intentions and tries to help, but he does not know that what he is doing is having a very negative impact on his female. This is the one who had paced and Mary in the restaurant and he said to you, what if it was Mary? Do you know that John is different from her? She knows that these directives may affect John. What happens is that they turn away from the restaurant, and for perhaps half an hour or an hour and a quarter, he wanders in the street trying to reach the restaurant and feels helpless, and because Mary assumes that she understands John, she will never offer help. She would never give him directions. She will adhere to patience, which means she will not tell him to ring so-and-so, he is the one who knows where the place is, or ask this person, or go right, left, right. She will not say this if she wants to help him. She will help him morally, meaning she tells him that you don't have to reach out. I am sure you remember the place. It's normal for your heart to feel uncomfortable. We're happy going out together. They're not in the restaurant. Our concern is that our relationship should give him moral support. This thing will have a positive impact on him. For example, when you come and see him, he's in financial difficulties, which is supposed to help him morally. It is assumed that you do not offer solutions that might harm him negatively. On the contrary, you support him morally. You tell him that you are capable of getting out of this crisis. I am very confident in you that you are improving your financial situation. I am sure that you are stronger than these circumstances that you are going through. This moral support. What the male needs, my female friend, is that this is important, very important and dangerous, and my application is to see what its impact will be later and what might happen, and exactly the opposite. As for the male, he told you that one day Mary came home from work, sat down and tried to complain to him about the things that happened to her at work. I said it at the beginning. Today, my manager argued with her because of such and such or such and such a task. I mean, I had some transactions that I couldn't solve. I faced so and so's problems with such and such a job, for example. John always told you that as soon as she said something, he would respond to her, interrupt her, and give her a solution. She would say, no, by God. Today, 
I argued with my manager, for example, about such and such a thing. I argued with her. Okay, tell her like this, like that, or next time, don't do that so that she doesn't get upset with you. In the same problem, you move to the other point and say to him, by God, I had such and such transactions that I couldn't solve. He says no, do this, do that, to solve it, then you say it, and by God, today I tried to call, for example. My mother is tired and sick, and I have not called her for several days. Okay, call your mother now. As soon as you talk, he is not listening. He is not listening, he is giving solutions. This, my friend, the male has a very, very, very negative effect on the female. The purpose of her talking to you is to make her want you, to be an emotional vessel, to contain these feelings. And he supports her. You are supposed to be an emotional supporter in these matters. Don't worry. Nothing happened. Today I had a problem with my manager. It's normal. You don't have to, God willing, solve this problem. I swear today I was tired at work and I sat for a full eight hours as long as I could. For example, I treat so and so sincerely, may God help you, and God Almighty, I feel for you, and this is a great effort and you are grateful for it. Honestly, by God, I have not spoken to my mother for three or four days. God does not blame you. By God, the work that you have, which has prevented you from speaking to your mother, and in fact, you are not to blame, and you are excused. This is the emotional support that she wants, and nothing more important than all of this. That you are listening. Okay, when? Do I offer her a solution? If she asked for a solution? If she asks you for a solution, offer her a solution. The same story reflects this matter, the male is the male. You do not offer him a solution unless he speaks when he comes to talk about his problems. Offer solutions if he speaks. Do not give him solutions. Therefore, my dear male, you must be a good listener. God has given you two things in which you can listen. Please listen more than you speak. When you come to deal with a female or any other person, I remember one time on the Steve Harvey program, except for a very strange poll. He said, we asked 100 females except. To them, why, if a male gets into somewhat major financial hardships, you abandon this male? A male gets into financial hardships, and you leave the female to abandon her, whether his wife divorces him or his girlfriend leaves him, so he says, we have given them three options. Is it because the male has become an enemy of responsibility to his family? The second choice? Is it because he remembered that his psychology changes and he becomes always tense and tense and always angry because of financial hardship? The third reason? I do not know. I forgot about it, to be honest, but that it was for a slightly strange reason, and I expect this is what kept me from forgetting it. I mean, more than approximately 60% of the females answered. The second answer was that they said because the male's psychology changes and he always becomes tense, tense, and tense due to financial hardship. So Steve explained to them the reason behind this thing. He said to them, oh, males by nature, I don't know if Steve. Did he say the book or not? Or he was talking like a natural liar. I mean, he said to them, because if we, males, face these financial hardships, we will not feel weak and we know that we are responsible for how much. We must be the ones in charge of the same things. We are the ones who work hard and are miserable and provide you with an easy life. He said, this is our nature, as males. She turned to one of the audience and said to him, Indeed, I noticed that my life partner had never separated from him when he was afraid of financial hardship. I used to say to him, for example, let's go to the movies. Today, he said, by God, I can't. I don't have any money. And you said, okay, don't care about the money. I'm the one who will get you a ticket. And the world and I give you the right to eat, and I give you everything. You say, he was upset. He was angry. Imagine the days of my dear female. Imagine with me these words. Real life is real and exists. 
I mean, he was going through financial hardship at that time, and she asked for cinema. He said, no, I can't, because I can't. I have money. She got up and said to him, okay, I will give you money. I said, he was nervous and upset, and this is because he has hair, and with weak manhood, he has weak ability. He has weak strength. This is nature. This is nature, the nature of an instinct, an instinct that is present in the male. This is not a behavior that can be changed overnight, or he says, by God, I choose for my personality to be like this, or I choose for my job to be like this. No, 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 this is inherent. It is not present in the male. That is why it is important. It is very important that we understand these differences and let us summarize them in these points so as not to waste words. I always remember that he cares about strength, efficiency, speed, etc. So any behavior that he tries to make him feel that he is weak or inadequate, this behavior is bad for him. I always want to remember it if anyone who gives him solutions complain to him. This is an important male nature. Now, on the other hand, the female is very emotional and interested in feelings and relationships. Relationships to her are more important than your competence, strength, etc. So when the female comes to speak, she is looking for an emotional vessel, looking for someone who cares about her feelings. A person who cares about the ties of relationship between her and him. So when a female comes with gifts, they always give cards with very important words on it. I mean, when a female comes and gives you a gift and the card's answer is written on it, then what is written on it, the words are more important to her and more valuable, the gift is huge. Unfortunately, males, we take the gift and throw the card in the trash, and this thing affects the females, and this is true. You see, the female cares about relationships and feelings and is eager for improvement and development. So when a female comes to complain or talks to you about her situation, be a listener. And when she comes like a female to improve you and give you improvement directions, this is a type of interest. The opposite is the same story. I remember when he offers solutions and interrupts. This is a kind of concern. It is his right. We must understand these differences that exist between us. Of course, the first very beautiful thing is that a person changes himself in order to deal positively and well with the person he is with, but the most important thing for me is that when this person comes to me, he treats me in a certain way, that I understand why he is anything but that. It means a beautiful thing that you change your behavior for the sake of the person you are with. This is a very beautiful thing, but the most beautiful thing is you understand why this person is not with you. This is very important. You understand the female when she gave you directions. This is a type of interest. It is very important that you understand. I remember when he gave you solutions and decisiveness. This is a type of interest. I have that you understand the person who in front of you. The most important thing is that you change because of it. By God, if you do the same thing, you are just like that out of imagination. This is the first difference I explained to you in this video. Please, whether male or female, notice this thing in your daily life. Notice how the male, as soon as you talk to each other, gives solutions, and notice how the female always comes to talk and gives you many, many details about her day, and how it happened with her, as an example, and all of her worldly problems. Notice how it only contributes to talking, it wants you to be a listener, a base of fear.